everyone. So welcome, welcome back. So this video, I'm gonna try to make it as short as possible. So um, well, I'm not trying to make it about me, but I wanna make it about you guys, but I do wanna say a few things. So Ben and I, right? Ben and I, one of my brothers for life, all right? Brother from another mother. We are at a film location right now. We are filming a short film, and I'm not trying to brag, it's one of my best films I've ever made. And we're taking our time with this one. We've actually been filming it over across a few weeks and all of that stuff. So yeah, something to uh, look forward to. I'm looking forward to uh, seeing how this, the final picture comes together and stuff. But my main point of this video is it's, it's March, all right? Beautiful weather. Isn't this beautiful, Ben? Absolutely. Gorgeous. Right? I've been driving around. I've been seeing buds on the trees, little leaves, and all of that. And my main object, all right, grass is getting greener, all right? And when I say that, the grass isn't getting greener on the other side. But main objective of this, guys, all right, is to say I really want to encourage you guys to go outside, all right? Go outside, all right? A lot of people our age. All right, isn't that right, Ben? Yeah, exactly. Yes, yes. A lot of people, are right, lot of people our age play video games, okay? A lot in video games. There is life in video games, but there's more life going outside. You know what I mean? Isn't yeah. that right, Ben? Yeah, as much as you can, like, stimulate your brain a bit on your break time by kicking back, relaxing, like, uh, stimulating your brain a bit, there are times that you guy can knows. stimulate your actual body. That guy knows, right? He's working out. Right, we've yeah. seen an <laughs> athlete in his natural habitat, right? Yeah. He's outside, you know what I mean? Yeah, and he's point. working and he's grown. Yeah, so the one word that off. comes up to my head is moderation. And as long as you, like, uh, play games in moderation, where it's like, play games one time and then uh, go outside and exercise and work out your body the next, mm -hmm. and rest at the another hand, everything works in moderation. If you have everything in moderation, or at least mm -hmm. in moderation as best as you can, then you should be good. Right, raise your hand if you, if raise your hand if that's something you wanna work on. I, I know I gotta work on that. I definitely gotta work on that in my life, all right? Because, you know, I'm a person who gets into something, goes 110%, but like, honestly, just look at this, you know what I mean? Not look at my face, but look at this. I know my face is handsome, but this is more beautiful, okay? The grand outdoors, right? Check out your local trail systems. Check out your lo local parts, right? You now, one of the goals I'm gonna share with you guys, all right, and share with you, Ben, is I'm kind of trying to make a goal of what I wanna do in the outdoors. For example, you know what I really wanna do with you this year, man, is get tubes, all right, get a can of get get a get some beers and go float down the the uh, Lackawanna River with you. Sick. Not the Lackawanna River heritage, but I the uh, Tonkanung Creek, Tonkana Creek. Tunkana. That's what I want to do with Ben sometime. And also, like we are, like I want to make it like a list like that of like like my goals for this upcoming year and what I want to do. Right, places I want to visit all that stuff so I can remind myself and see some stuff I'm working towards, right? And that's another thing. It's like we, like, for one, you know, another thing I'll also mention is, you know, last year, okay, at this time, I was like, man, oh my gosh, I, I, I hate winter. I don't know how I'm going to survive next winter, okay? And this winter, I really survived it well, right? I love winter. You know, winter is a lot of fun, you know what I mean? Yeah. And the trees are bare, you know, what I what I really enjoy. And I like the trees when they're bare and stuff. But the point being is that go out there, enjoy, and see a spring, all right? See summer come to life, yeah. all right? And do it with other people, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. I don't, like, do it alone, but also, yeah, like, like share the experience, yeah, you know what I mean, right? Family, friends. Yeah, anyway. and like that's another thing with this video. I, I'm trying to share this with you guys, right? Not just what we're doing, but like the grand outdoors, right? Like for example, look at the tree, right? We're seeing that blossom in full time. We're seeing that thing come in life. You know what I mean? Like, look at this. I'm seeing green. Do you see that? That's what I'm talking about. Isn't that amazing, Ben? Yeah, absolutely. Just to see life kind of like reshaping itself yeah. after the blistering cold. And, the, and another thing with spring, which I really love, okay, is that like we go through seasons in our lives and stuff. 
and there are new beginnings around every corner. And that's another thing, you know, another thing with streams. I uh, look at this. I know a lot of you go fishing, okay? I'm gonna share something personal here, okay? You no, know, when I see a stream, you know what this really kind of represents to my mind because my mind works on parable. Streams really represent moving on, okay? It's washing things away, okay? I remember how I had a thing with this girl once, okay? And this thing with this girl once, okay? I'm not like saying litter, okay? But she gave me this heart and stuff. And you know what I did? And you know what helped me to let go of that? A year ago, I threw it in this river, right? In fact, I actually attached a rope to it and stuff so I can hold on to it. But you know what? I'm like, nope, I am literally gonna just toss it away, right? And in a way, this river helped me move on, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, point being is get outside, enjoy life, make the most of it, go out, have a bonfire, go swimming even, you know what I mean? All right, have a lot of fun, all right? All right. So any last words, Sir Ben? Uh, same thing that he said, <laughs> you always get it. Um, cool. uh, same thing that he said, uh, work everything out in moderation and if you can at least try to get some oxygen into your lungs by enjoying the beautiful day out like this. Take that opportunity as much as you can. Like, I know that you may have other stuff in your life, whether if it's like family drama, trying to catch up with their job, paying your bills and whatnot. But whenever you can, if you have any free time to just like enjoy the pleasures of nature, please take it. Definitely during night and sun, during night and day. Yeah. So one of the things, another thing, okay, we've not given any spoilers. How are you? Uh, so, so I was wondering if you could elaborate a little bit on the film, not like like the plot or anything like that. But how are you? Like, what are you excited for? I shared my excitement at the beginning of the video. Let's end it off with some of your excitement. Yeah, I'm excited to work out uh, other sequences that we have and to see how the camera work will uh, en enhance the intensity of each scene. And uh, uh, each scene is always a new adventure. Adventure. Uh, mm. Uh, there are well plenty said. of sequences that I thought that I would never accomplish, but uh, thanks to the genius of this guy right here, uh, we were able to take care of it and uh, make it in full swing and make it seem that intense and like almost like cartoonishly intense, but in a way that you would only see in a horror film because you would see uh, life and uh, think that this wouldn't happen, but then you put yourself in like a uh, horror uh, context to it then it's like wow I would see myself doing that and with good direction you can actually make that possible and so far I'm really satisfied with what we got so far and I can't wait to uh, see how it can continue oh, awesome so I'll end it off with this thanks I love that great humility on my part because remember I'm just human and stuff right uh, so so another thing I also want to say okay I want to wrap out uh, the hometown if you've never been to northeastern Pennsylvania and if you're going to go for a gold chart all right or things to visit or things to do come here to northeastern Pennsylvania because it's such a great community in fact I was found doing this video in the downtown of Scranton but you know life has brought me to do this video here so with that being said uh, all right, spread that love, all right? Even when it's night, you can still enjoy the outdoors, all right? Spread that light within the darkness, you know what I mean? And yeah, just be the salt of the world, all right? With that being said, have a nice day, everyone, right. and enjoy spring, and see you all this summer. All right, later. So guys, I don't know, I'm not finished, but I don't know if you guys see what I see. All right, that guy's got his shirt off now. He's really going to go for it, hey. Hey. He's he going for not, it now. He does not give up. All right. He's got his shirt off. All right. Where, where are the ladies at? Where are the ladies at, eh? <laughs> hey? All right. Where's the ladies at? Hey, you know, kind of funny story. In fact, I brought a few girls there once and stuff. Yeah. And up in the woods and stuff, one just started to dance on a bench. <laughs> right by herself we had like music she had music playing and stuff but she was just going for it man right and i'm not trying to objectify ladies you know what i mean i respect you ladies but that was an interesting memory yeah, you know that, what i mean hilarious. man and speaking of a bench it's funny how like you talked about that story and that one just like i know right over. yep <laughs> you just fell over. yep 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 but when I say that, I'm not trying to objective women because another point I, I guess I'll make is women aren't sexual objects, you know what I mean? 
right? right? Women are not sexual objects. Men are not sexual objects. You know what yeah, I mean? We're people and we express ourselves the way we want to. And it, it's, it's our bodies, not anyone else's bodies. It does not give anybody else the right to grab them without our consent. So. Right. Or, or even looking at them that way. You know what I mean, right. man? It's, it's like, like, don't look at women and don't look at men just as sexual objects and things just for uh, sexual gratification. That's right. All right. If you, if you, man. Oh my gosh, he's like, he's punching it now. Yo, I think he's getting ready for combat. What? <laughs> that was like regular weightlifting with a tire. Bro. That was just like, Bro. right? Now he's going on the underside. Yo. Must, they must have like a wrestling. Uh, I, I guess they're here. doing something. Yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah, I haven't, like, checked that much of Keystone out. I only, like, toured around it for, like, its accounting course mm. until I realized I don't like accounting. But, uh, yeah, yeah I, I think they have, like, a pretty strong sports community around here. Oh, yeah, they actually added a football team. Another thing, if you are interested in school, I don't know what you're going for, but Keystone College, I don't know much about it, but it's it's a I, I, I've heard it's a great school so yeah I heard that's a pretty yeah, good I mean, school that's also good Mar there's also Marywood University if you're looking for something mm -hmm. University of Scranton yeah uh, Johnson College we got a lot of good schools we got a lot of schools within the Scranton area yeah though uh, a, a lot of them surprisingly and you would see like a lot of college kids at nighttime so if you're gonna yep. see them get educated at daytime you would see colleges everywhere and at nighttime that's when they're your nature comes up <laughs> so with that being said i'm gonna end this video off just like how that guy's doing it i'm not gonna be shirtless <laughs> right that's that's how we go right you, you, go. you know that pen you know that right yeah, that's how we do it yeah that's how you do it <laughs>